Hi, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. This story in the Gospel of John chapter 9 of the man born blind is really important for us to remember. Because in this story you have a man who is blind and everyone wants to know from Jesus what sin caused this man to be blind. Was it his sin or was it the sin of his parents for him to be born with a disability? And what Jesus says is, no, it wasn't the sin that caused the blindness. Instead, that blindness is going to lead to an opportunity for God's glory to be revealed. Jesus comes up to the man and he spits in the ground and takes the clay and the spit and he rubs it on his eyes so that the man can see for the first time. And he gets questioned by the doubters, by the Pharisees, wondering, you know, who healed you? How could you be healed? And they all want to find out who this Jesus was that healed him. And the man just says, go ask him for yourself. They ask his parents if it's true. And they say to ask, them, ask their son, ask the man instead. It's all about Jesus showing the people who are blind but don't realize it, the importance of being able to see. The people who are questioning the man, the Pharisees, they are full of pride. They don't even want to listen to the man when he answers. They're full of anger and blame that he must have been at fault for his blindness. But what Jesus is saying is, this is the blindness that needs to be taken away. This blindness of pride and anger needs to become not pride, but humility. Not anger, but mercy. That is this, the way that we should see the world. We should see someone who is in tr trouble. See someone who is struggling with humility and with mercy. Not blame, not pride, but humility. And that's what Jesus does with the man born blind. And his healing becomes God's glory. An opportunity to show God's glory. So for us, look with humility on everyone. Look with mercy on everyone. Don't blame someone for the times that they're struggling. Don't blame them if they're born with a disability. Be able to see them and see God's work through their presence here on earth and in our lives. Go make disciples. God bless.